Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to configure an old router as a repeater. What is a repeater? Repeater is a device that repeats the signal it received from a, from a source and you will retransmit it with the same strength. So, the frequency and the power of the signal could maintain when we want to reach a greater distance. As you can see, there is a modern router here at the corner of the big house. As we all know, the Wi-Fi coverage of a normal router is quite small. But how do we use it when we are at the other end of the house? Therefore, in this case, we add another repeater, which we are going to use an old D-Link router to do this. Here is a D-Link router with the model name DIR615. Firstly, I log in to my router. Then, I go to Tools and go to the firmware and go to the firmware upgrade section. Firmware upgrade allows us to upgrade our firmware for better performance or even flash custom firmware so that we can support more powerful function or you can configure more settings just like this Wi-Fi repeater setup as the custom firmware we are going to use is DDWRT you just need to go to www.ddwrt.com first you go to the router database and search whether is your modem supported Then I download the web flash image for first installation. It takes it take quite some time and I have flashed my custom firmware to my router so I will just show you how. You click browse and search for the file you downloaded just now and just click upload. It will upload the firmware and upgrade it in about 1 or 2 minutes. Then, let's go to the next step. Hi guys, this is what will you, what will you see after flashing the custom firmware DDWRT. First, you will see a login page which asks, which asks you to change your router name and router password. I already changed it, changed it just now, so I will skip it. First, you will go to the setup the basic setup and go for the first section one connection time type and disable the connection type then you need to name your router which I'll name it to my Wi-Fi name dash speaker the same for the host name then make sure the STV is disabled and to configure a router we need to assign a new local IP address for the repeater. As my main router has an IP address of 192.168.1.1, I'll assign it to 192.168.1.2. As we all know, there cannot be two same IP addresses in the same network. If not, both of them cannot work because they are IP complete. Then I will then maintain this subnet mask. If you want to use this IP, then the gateway as the IP of your main router. And leave this the local DNS unchanged. And for this cool function in the DDWRT firmware, you can assign your one port to a switch it's like they are original four LAN ports but you need an extra one so you can change the WAN port to a LAN port then next you just click save for now next you need to disable the 
disable the DHCV server because we would like to let this task to be done by the primary primary router and we do not want to have two routers assigning IP to the devices connected to them after disable I just click apply setting and the router will work for a while next you go to the advanced routing and change the router and go to the apply setting again After the router reboots, you need to use the new IP address to log into a router, which is 1.2. Go to the setup, type in your username and password, and go to the networking, I mean, sorry, go to the virus tab. Here, there are a few virus mode options you can choose. Ad hoc is for point to point connection and repeater is what we want uh, as for repeater bridge it is almost the same but it can only be used using a LAN cable so that we can, uh, in this mode our laptop cannot wirelessly connect to the router but we want a repeater for now and for the virus mode Choose the same mode as your primary router, which is Mix, and change the virus network name, same as your router, as your Wi-Fi pass, Wi-Fi name, which is iPhone, and the virus channel, just leave it as default, and change your channel with same as your primary router. Make sure you broadcast your SSID and the network configuration is bridge as safe next we would like to add a new interface a virtual interface which is the same if you want your router to if you want your device to connect to the Wi-Fi automatically after you leave the first router you just put it a same name if not you just name it differently so when the first router gets too far from you, when you get too far from the first router, it will automatically it will connect to the second router. I will go for the same name. Wireless SSID broadcast. Then as for AP isolation, it means that you make this virtual interface like a physical interface interface which has the two won't mix up together, but I just click for disable for this one and click for bridge and apply setting next I go to the wireless security here I just apply the same settings the WPA algorithm and share key as my primary Wi-Fi which is here you type your own Wi-Fi password for the primary router and then set the thing set the thing and here should be the same and click the apply setting After that, the router is rebooting now. After that, go to the security tab and under the firewall, you disable the firewall, SPI firewall. This firewall, usually the primary router has firewall in it, so you do not need the firewall in the router. And you just 
Say apply system. Then we are done. Go to the wire status tab and under the wireless tab you click site survey. And you choose your primary router to join the site. Okay.